Hidden in your body lies the potential for immortality, but for one woman it became a reality, though not in the way she could have imagined. Meet Henrietta Lacks, a young beautiful woman of African descent from Baltimore, Maryland. In 1951 she visited Johns Hopkins Hospital for treatment of cervical cancer. What happened next changed the course of science forever. Without her knowledge or consent doctors took samples of her tumor cells. And here's the twist, they discovered these cells could do something no other human cells had ever done before. Most human cells die after a few divisions. But Henrietta's cells? They defied death. They kept dividing endlessly in the lab, scientists called them immortal. They were named HeLa cells, after Henrietta Lacks. These immortal cells became the cornerstone of medical breakthroughs. They helped develop the polio vaccine, cancer treatments, gene mapping, and even advancements in IVF technology. But this extraordinary story has a darker side. Henrietta's cells were used in groundbreaking research, without her family's knowledge or permission, for decades. Her family meanwhile lived in poverty. This raises one of science's biggest ethical dilemmas. Who owns the cells taken from your body and what rights should you or your family have over them? Henrietta Lacks didn't consent, yet her cells live on, saving millions of lives. She's immortal, not just through her cells but through her legacy. Her story reminds us of the fine line between discovery and humanity.